Hey guys, welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Last time that we left off, we lost yet another friend. We lost Tane. It was a really sad moment and they even threw a letter by him to us, which was very cruel on their part, to be honest. We also saw Samara again and it was very interesting to see her trying to save her daughters. She almost decided to go with Rilla, you know? She decided to kill herself and... I'm glad that we had the option to stop her, because imagine if her other daughter would be alone, like... Anyway, it's a mess. This game is a complete mess. There's so much happening. We also are back with Kaden. We're dating him again. Right after Tane died, I know, it's... If he's a terrorist, he ought to be locked up. I heard he's shot. Gorex wanted for six bombings. Six. Killed both human. So yeah, there was a mission about a Batarian. This wounded Batarian. Find him in the refugee camp and investigate. So we're gonna be doing some of these. Um I don't know about that technology stuff. Because I don't know if I have it. So yeah, you know, like going to Atina Nebula and delivering it. People, I don't know if these carry over. I think they do because they are just missions. But yeah, before doing, I'm probably gonna do them off camera. Maybe this one of the Batarian terrorist might be fun. And Batarians. We'll see. If it's not, why? Where is the elevator, though? Uh, Shepard is just listening to everybody talking and just like, hmm, maybe I. Status recognized. Maybe in the middle. Maybe in the middle of the war, One I can moment, just. Anyway, I couldn't even finish because the elevator interrupted me. Now but arriving at Pythidium <laughs> Maybe in the middle of the war, we can do all of that. Tamara. I hoped Hi. you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. Why what are, are you, you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Oh, Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. Where are you going? I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. Aww. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. Exactly. Justicars in the war? What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. I hope it's not necessary. Was being a Justicar worth it, if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But... Following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. What about your opinion, though? Is that how you see it, too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. I hope you get to kill some of them. Will Falaire be alright in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... Good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. No, it's not. I'm just happy things worked out. 
that. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. No problem. Good luck out there, Samara. Yeah. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. Hope to see you again. So, is Koliad still in the hospital? Wait, what about Commander Bailey? We gotta check on him. We gotta check if he's alive. Commander Bailey in here? Oh god, he's alive. Hi. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're right. reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. Yeah, he did. These are dark days for all of us. Your injuries. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Hmm. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. <laughs> what about Udina? All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? I think nobody did. Always rubbed me a little wrong. Oh. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. I guess I proved him right. Exactly. He's dead and you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. I don't know, maybe Caden would have noticed it at some point? How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying and crying. A lot of people lost someone. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Bye, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. Well, he's alive. That's fine. That's good. Who is going to take Adina's place, though? See, it's closed. What about here? Is there anything new for us? Status recognized. We gotta go to Perseus Veil, vale. what's Crowley that point? The the oh, what's that? Huh. Good to oh, see you're all Miranda. right, Shepard. Hi. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. Yeah, it is. I heard sure. about the attempted coup. And the Volcan. Yeah, with Kai, Kai Lang's help, oh. Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? Do you know him? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. How do you know Look, him, though? I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Oof. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot oh. of them. I need to stay out of sight. Maybe we can help what? you. Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Huh? Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. He's stupid. And do you think the elusive man made him an offer? Probably, like exactly. Adina. We gotta stop him then. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. Let me run sure? alone. Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? Maybe. No. I couldn't. At least until the end of the game. Alone, she's not going to be able to do it. She could use our help. Medical supplies? Medical supplies originally meant for occupied zones have been rerouted to the Citadel because the Ripper invasion has made delivery impossible. Lock down the docks. Okay. Um, CSEC has requested a number of civilians that were in an attempt to find evidence that would incriminate Cerberus. Officers have tapped public servants who do not have Lego. Okay. Location for Batarian. A Batarian patient named Gorek is located in a makeshift clinic in the temporary refugee camp at Docking Bay E24. 
He's suffering from undisclosed but severe injuries. There's no viable long term trial, okay. Maybe we can talk to him. Volus Ambassador Dean Corlock's current location is unknown. Okay. No, not shooting range. I don't I don't wanna. Sorry. Maybe later. So let's see that battalion. There's also Dr. Bryson. I think I'm probably gonna do it next episode. By Counselor Danell Udina, who died assisting Cerberus in an attempted Ooh. coup against the council. There's even more people now here. Heavy losses are mounting as human colonies Elysium, Tiptree, and I Zeus. think Center status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Ain't that the lady? The Asari wife? Now is arriving at Doggy hospital. Bay D24. Gotta go to E24. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? <laughs> no, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Oof. Cerberus? Cerberus? They're a problem? I thought we were fighting Reapers, I had a friend in security at Sonax, and there was definitely Prothean tech on Garbug. I know the Garbug. threshold is Reaper oh, territory, all cool. now, but Prothean tech could help the cruise. Wait, what direction? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, I'm aware this is an unsecured channel. Y yes, understood. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Over there? No. But Just wait, let what? me know when you're ready to take a break. Oh, Garrus, hi. Do you want to take a break now? Uh, but uh, wait. God, it's gonna be complicated. Where is the dude? Marco, I'm lost in the Citadel. Like. This is the first game all over again. These I go where? No, don't return to the Normandy. Oh my lord. Okay, okay, Garrus, hold on a second. I will, I will try. This is insanity. I'll try to come back. Just let me know when you're ready to take a break. God. Maybe it's in here? Can't you let me in? No. Where are I only you? Need a couple of hours of footage. You're not crossing that dock. You're a reporter. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? I am. So like Vas, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. Right. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive, but you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. Hmm. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. All right. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. I'm gonna Thank do you, it, though. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni-Tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. Well, now I am in the right place. How do I do that? Okay, maybe here. Nurse? Hi. Pressure's okay. No infection so far. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50 50. Are you Gorak? Well, this is the battery. <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Do we know him? Not even what a terrorist's doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> Every Batarian with someone on Earth oh. remembers your face. Planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butchered a colony, only regret. <laughs> Don't have the strength to. I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. It's not an excuse, ah. but... Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. 
I do, because I tried to warn you guys. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a exactly. colony. Exactly, we tried to warn. I've thought about the people who died, about how I couldn't warn them in time. Exactly, we did try. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry, if that means anything. Sorry? <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <clears throat> If you have any real guilt, show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. Oh my god. If that's if if that's his wish, he has a right. Oh. Thank you. He has a right. Are they not mad at with me right now? Well, located in what was once recognized. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. So this is a Batarian. Please observe all cast restrictions when making a purchase. Okay, okay. So I am gonna have to search for what weapons should I get for each this lady. That would really get people's attention. Thank you, Commander. That should be enough footage. What kind of pictures she took? She didn't take any pictures that were decent. Okay. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Hope it helped. Oh, we leveled up. Nice. Her name okay, is Tasha Corey. Washra, I have an audio log for you. I finally found her. Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. Yeah, girl. I'm so sorry. Major Caden Alenko, the second human specter. Oh, they're talking about Caden. in preventing Cerberus forces from killing the council. Caden Alenko. <laughs> Okay, now I guess we can go back to the Normandy. Or should we hang out with our friend? Oh lord, there's so much. Volus Ambassador. So the goal today is to do Volus Ambassador, the N7 one. Oh, Holland Threshold. Then we might do priority for Sia's Veil. And these ex Cerberus scientists. The rest, th th there's so many things, dude. So many, like it's insane. Insanity. Like they should just separate what is side mission and what's not because it's just too much. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. We One shall moment, hang out with. Garrus, right now. Now arriving at docking bay D24. Look at him. Hi. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting reapers. Like alcohol. <laughs> I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. Okay. So? So... I had an idea. What are we doing? Ooh. We're going on a date with our best friend. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? I don't. Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But well, I never why? did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. How do you remember so all of them? So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Do they even matter now, though? <laughs> like, I don't think they do. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A 
little busier than I imagined. Hmm. How about a dive in the pool? God. Really? Uh, you obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing <laughs> interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. Oh my god. Yeah, you're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? You're a good friend, yeah. Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Aww. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. This is so cute. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun. Just saying some of us know how to make it dance. Uh-huh. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. Okay, there are good. a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. Oh my god. No comment. Excuse right, me? You're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. I'm glad I don't have Long to Long range, shoot. I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. Do it very far. Very, very far. Yes. <laughs> I said a tough one. You shot before it started going far. Step aside. No, we're gonna shoot the target. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. Yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. Right. <laughs> he didn't like that. Oh, that was so cute. That was so cute. There's more people that we can meet, right? I, I need to check the message again. You see, Samantha is talking, but I can't. Oh yeah, Joker and Edie are at the purgatory. Daria as well. Oh, what's happening? Yeah, he he go to the purgatory, right? Uh, if you if you want to come along and make it less weird, that'd be great. Oh, Tane. Uh, that's so sad. Miranda, I found her. Grunt. <laughs> this Grunt message is so cute. I love it. Fighting. Uh, dinner. Hey, making babies. <laughs> Uh, hopefully, take a break. Yeah, Garrus, I took a break with you. I went with Samara. Oh, yeah, Liara as well. It's even, yeah. I think, I don't know where she is exactly. Okay, where is Vega, though? James Vega. Anyway, let's go to the purgatory, find Liara, and then... Oops. And then we... My game is stuttering a little bit, I don't know why. It happened some... You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need oh. ground transport? Okay, no, let's go to the purgatory. the purgatory. We'll have a cab ready for you. Oh my lord, I wonder what's gonna happen there. No, the problem is that our people are terrible at making war. The library at Asha had sacred texts on the ways of the hunters. And here we go, we found an army. Oh, I can not see Edie already. Yeah. Oh my I'm lord. I'm curious. What material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. 
If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. Interesting. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, oh. for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. What about... where is he? Where did he go? Is he not dancing with her? Where are you? Wait, he didn't come? He said he was gonna come. Okay, there he goes. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war! How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look okay. at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking <laughs> stupid on the dance floor. Oh my god. That's surprisingly observant. Exactly. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Oh! Do I have a say on that? Because it's none of my business. Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? Eh, it's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. <laughs> if we oh all God. ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. You deserve to be stupid. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh my god. Are they gonna do oh are they gonna start dating? Jesus Christ. Is that a good idea? Are they the oh my god? <laughs> Are you serious? She's not dancing though. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Okay then, well, I'm leaving. Good luck to you two, I hope it works. Let's go to Liara then. Okay, what's happening here? Who are you, Commander Captain Shepard. Aaron? Guess I know what happened to my backup. For you. Excuse me? Come on, I'm in C-Sec in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Huh? Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. C-Sec officer who helped Cerberus. Oh? C-Sec caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Sure. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup. Good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. Ex-Alliance? Wait, is that Jacob? If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do. But the intel we get will save lives. Is it Jacob? Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust. Captain Summers. Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. I'll shut it down. Thanks. Where is the dude? Okay, it's not Jacob then. What about Liara? Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Oh, who are you? Officer Knowles, hi. Can Everybody I help you? Everybody wants to talk to me now. Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. Sure. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the Embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Do we just trust her like this without even knowing her? Okay, I see Liara. Finally. Hi, Liara! You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? Yeah. <laughs> I good. love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, 
Back on Thessia, my mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing Patriarch work. Benazia. <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just You're kidding. No. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. <laughs> she shouldn't have, but she did buy me my first history book the next day. Oh. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. Yeah. It'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. No. <laughs> but I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? Exactly. You got it. Aww. These moments, though, make it more sad because the game just feels so hopeless right now. Anyway, I guess we are leaving the Citadel. I need to know where the elevator is. Oh, there we go. So let's go back to the Normandy and do the Volas Ambassador. Before going to Percy as Veil. Vale. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. This episode is going to be a little messy because there's so many things to do. It's kind of. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. I guess you could say it's a filler episode. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. Outstanding. Well, she could not support her own. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Well, now that I know your weakness, we might have to try a game. Cool. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we're having. Oh, okay, that got weird. A little weird. Where was Caden? Over here, right? Hi. Oh, never met a real Ardot Yakshi. Not that I know of, anyway. I think I dodged a bullet there. Okay, we don't. We can't talk to him like normally. Oh yeah, Vega wanted to talk to me. He was over here. Can't I've always loved the M35 Mako. It's got heart, you know. Ah, oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. No, the Mako. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. The Mako is great. I'd yes, hope I so. Agree. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. And it was fun. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned <laughs> Mass Effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Why do we need hey, lateral really movement? Hey, like that. Who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Jesus Christ. Hey, Hi. hey. Krogan and Turian still friends? Yep. For now. <sighs> it's just gotta last until this war's over, I guess. What do you mean? Do you wanted to talk to me? I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other? Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Okay. Just don't tell him I said so. It'll go to his head. 
<laughs> Y'all have a weird friendship. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. What? Right. What nicknames has been given to people? I don't know. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. We should respect Next topic. that, though. You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. <laughs> no promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Oh my Besides, god. I like to keep Esteban on his toes. I mean, if he had not done that, we would have lost the lady, so... Can we really blame him? You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and Damn. was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. We might get... I'll talk to you later. Why is he uncle... Uh, why is his uncle not messaging him? What is this Mac doing here, though? It's so funny. Hi, Esteban. Cortez. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Oh, it's We've got Steve. news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. Oh, nice. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. And you don't like the Mako. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Interesting. Maybe we talk to you later. Otherwise... Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. <laughs> yes, Commander. Otherwise, this episode's gonna be just talking. Again. We gotta... go. Wait, we can go to her cabin as well, right? Let me look at my fish. I hope they don't... Not dead. Are they dead? Oh my god! Why are y'all dead? <laughs> I'm a really bad owner. How do I feed them anyway? Why are they always dead? Can someone explain to me? Wait, what? Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Let's do it. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Yeah. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. Yep. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Uh, they tried Cerberus to has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do. And it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. It did. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? You can't lose faith. Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. Are we done? All right. Now, a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Oh my lord, that Thanks was Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night, and stay strong. 
Or lower Be lash careful, line Commander. Is you keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. Keep this professional. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. All right. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. <laughs> you look nice, but yeah, Shepard has a love interest already. That was awkward. Invite James. Oh, okay. Why do we? James, invite... I've got some time if you want to talk privately. For room. On my way. Why are we inviting him on my room? Hey, man, how's it going? Hey, man. <laughs> good, James. You? Good, good. We need to talk to Javik as well. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. Sort of. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. <laughs> Sorry, Shepard. Right. I guess maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you or did you think about it before accepting? I guess if I am putting myself in the shoes of Shepard, I would have thought about it for a little while. The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. Yeah. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. But your entire life And is they dead. expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. What? It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. What do you mean? You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I allowed to kick my ass out years ago. <laughs> Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. But it was not your I guess fault. I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. Should we ask? Like, he said that he does not want to talk about it. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? <sighs> what didn't go wrong? <sighs> we were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. And the collectors hit. Right. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted. Including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit. Waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working oh. with the Collectors. Fuck. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collectorship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. Things got out of control. It's not like he could have prevented most of it honest because there was a server spy in the middle like would he have guessed you can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation and if you were promoted then something must have gone right sure but if you'd saved them all would things have worked out better I I don't know I don't think so the right choice is usually not the easy one yeah did you know that before you joined the N7 Yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Yeah. Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Oh, don't worry. Of course not. Gracias. Bye. Well. I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. <laughs> the bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, Shepard. Bye. Anytime. <laughs> that bad comment was weird. Okay, nobody else to call. So, oh. Oh, I can actually do this here. What? No way! That's interesting! I can change the clothes in here! Oh! 
That's awesome. I'll leave it like that. Do you have only two? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Sorry. It looks fantastic with that black outfit, though. I love it. Kaden went to the gym for the past years. It, um... So there was a message from Javik. I'm not gonna look for it because it's gonna take a while. Why my fish keep dying? Stop dying. Y'all rude. I don't remember where... I think he was in engineering. Yes, he was where Grunt was. So he's in here. I think he wanted to talk. Oh, where's Javik? Huh? Is he in the Citadel though? I think he's in the Citadel, huh? We gotta go to the Citadel and see him then. Okay. Well, I'll meet you guys there. Are ready to return and to the there he goes. Hi. What are you doing? In the embassies of all places. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hid here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It's very different from what you expected, I bet. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel alive. That's a victory in itself. Exactly. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. Yeah. It's true do. then. You share power with the rest? Not share, it's I It's not guess. perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. <laughs> I mean... Uh... Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. How do you know? Oh... What is happening? Ehana. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. Jellyfish. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? Oh god. I am. But if you lost the last war, what hope do we have? Oh god. For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living... Um, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. Okay. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive, and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. Uh, he's kind of scary, but at the same time, he's a good guy. He's starting to learn his way around. <laughs> yeah. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. He is. The Commander is a capable warrior as well. Oh. For a human. Who once lived in caves. Don't say it like that. <laughs> Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Okay, then. We're talking back in the Normandy. That was an interesting new Reaper perspective. <laughs> From Javik. I always say One moment, Havik, but it's Javik. I don't know. He was a very interesting character and. Now it would be nice. Twenty-four. Would be really nice to see him opening up and becoming Sergeant, friends with Shepard. I have a little brother. Oh God, he went off planet to try and make money. She is Alaska. always talking to the sergeant. The sergeant must be so pissed at her. Like she's always talking and talking and asking and asking. Like girl, please no. Anyway, let's talk to Javik now that he is here. 
See, what's up? I'm sorry. D this is a lot of talking. I just want to catch up with the crew and not miss anything before... Oh, this is... So, are you doing a story on the Asari who were turned into Reaper creatures? The Ardat Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful... Why the trainer is talking to her all the time? Wait, is he not in here? Huh. Interesting that he's not in here. What about... There's nobody down here, huh? Because of... Jack? No one? Yeah. I wonder if Jack would have joined us. I wonder. Right, so now then... Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. <laughs> See, Edie agrees with me. But Edie's I... mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. Exactly. We couldn't just move the processors and the AI core to another ship. Engineer yeah. Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See, Edie agrees with me. <laughs> But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. He's right. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. Donnelly? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> Why did you always start this conversation? What was going on? It's very interesting that we can meddle, you know, in these conversations. Very nice. I miss Mording. It was always so nice talking to him. He was always so hyper. I guess he only had a few years to go, and that was the best way for him to go. The Turians still... will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. Hi, Edie. Oh, we have a Hello, Shepard. Hello. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on T'Chunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. What's... That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. Oh, my God. The Reapers God. <laughs> are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. But that worm this was This has giant. caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. Right. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Sure. Here we go again. Oh my god, what's what is happening? What is the purpose of synthetic life? Or whatever it wants it to be. It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. Yep. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. Is it, though? My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. There's more to organics? Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. Oh my god, That was Edie. quick. <laughs> Gotta love quantum computing. <laughs> Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Uh... Wait, really? you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. 
Thank you. It gets weird every time you talk to her. Glad you talked Samara down. Yeah. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. And the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. We are. Well, the Alliance can always court-martial us after we save the galaxy. <laughs> I hope they don't. I hope they don't, because, like, we deserve a little rest, you know? Like Anderson said, surely deserve that. So let's see what we're gonna do now. The Volus Ambassador... Oh my god, look at that. It's... It's so many things. <sighs> Sorry, I'm sleepy. So where this is investigate the ambassador at oh god we're not going to the presidium let's do this one first let's go to Novaria we're, we're, we went to the presidium so many times today I'm tired of going there I mean we have to where where is okay the other end is there <laughs> my dog is running though let's go to Novaria it's been a while I think we should take Tiara perhaps since it's Novaria. Uh, I am thinking of doing like Dr. Bryson and Arya's fleet soon. I'm not sure though. Or maybe we can find the ex server scientists. We can do that as well. Or going to the first CS video. I wonder how the galaxy map looks in Andromeda. I actually really want to play it. Not sure about the channel, but I really want to play Andromeda. There's probably a crowd that likes Andromeda and that would enjoy seeing a playthrough. About it, but I don't know. We'll see. I just feel like I need more Mass Effect, definitely. What about your guns, Caden? What do you have? A good point. Let's upgrade the troll. Two targets. Yeah, two targets instead of one is good. Now we have three points, so we can warp. And I am using warp down. Oh, I forgot the others. It's fine. It's okay. We can upgrade later. What's the so word? Are we gonna meet Do we know here? how long these scientists have been holed up out here? Our intel is minimal. Ma'am, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Okay. Engaging the scientists? Huh? And if I'm reading it right? Sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down, then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. <clears throat> no, very is still cold as ever, huh? Oh no, the Cerberus. These are the scientists. No! Oh god, she dead. Hey, Jacob! Oh! So you're not with servers anymore. Oh god, he got hit. Fuck. Oh, six, no, couple nine. Did not expect to see you so soon, though. I mean, I am playing for 16 hours, so it's not that soon. Oh, we gotta save our friend. You can see why Cerberus abandoned this place. It's freezing. All right, just keep moving. Where? What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? Oh, 
Oh, we took down two people. Cool. Uh, here? Oh, there we go. I see. Push! Push forward! Maybe we can flank these guys! Watch for it! Oh, boy. Caden! On it, Commander! Caden, please help me. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, okay. The game is not working for me today. Check for survivors. He was beating Liara. Ooh, there's a lot of them dead. But they were resisting Cerberus, huh? Shepard! Oh, hi! Jacob! Found you. How bad? I'll live. <laughs> I think. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Is that your girlfriend? Hmm. That was easy. Jacob. Oh my god. Uh, I'm alright. The others didn't make it. Everybody died. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Uh... You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. <laughs> this one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you too. Thanks, and you as well. Shepard. This is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Ex-Cerberus? Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. And the elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were gonna find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. And he's annoying. Oh, there's more stuff happening. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. Oh. Uh, With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. So you know this Jacob guy? Another ex-Cerberus? Yeah. They worked with me to stop the Collectors. Ooh. Come here with these people. It was his idea. How many years? Am I gonna do it? Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. She's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Thank you. Jesus, they are throwing what at us. It's shaking. You all right? Commander Shepard, I've heard about you. Another Cerberus defector, as it were. I mean, something like that. She was not a Cerberus by her will. I imagine we've both crossed the elusive man in our own way. Has anyone seen Gavin? How did you end up here? 
The research I did for Cerberus hurt a lot of people. Right. I've done things no human should. There I was. With blood on my hands, blood I could never wash away. The elusive man didn't care. He said our goal was greater than any sacrifice it took to attain it. It was not. I take it the elusive man didn't just let you resign? <laughs> For a man who loves to lecture about morality's shades of grey, he's very black and white when it comes to obedience. Either you do the job, or you die trying to quit. You're not gonna die. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? It was called Project Overlord. An experiment oh. attempting to find non-violent methods for controlling DLC. the death. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. I didn't do that DLC. Yes. Well, like most things the elusive man touches, my work became corrupted by decrees. Suffice it to say, things didn't end well. Yeah, I... I... How did it go wrong? Serendipity, I'm afraid. The Geth were unresponsive to my attempts to communicate with them until my younger brother David made a breakthrough. What kind of breakthrough? He was an autistic savant, a mathematical genius. In no time, he'd mastered the Geth language and was communicating with them. Oh! You're saying he could speak directly with the Geth? We could as well. It was rudimentary at first, so I decided to take the next step. Tap David straight into their network. Right. It was sensory overload. No mind, even a savant's, could process the barrage information. It drove him insane. He died? How did you end up here? The research I did for Cerberus hurt a lot of people. Oh. There I was, the elusive man. Okay. I guess we're done with him? Okay, we gotta go here, I think. I've never seen a door do that. Get the text from Stockholm cell to pack their own crates. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. Give me the mad gel. Didn't I get it? Oh, I did. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. Project I've already dropped Mia. one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. Green eyes, the Zune has. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. Hmm. So you're the leader. How many okay. scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. How did you maintain secrecy with that many? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? Shh. What? You gotta be kidding. Girl. So those refugees brought Excuse everyone me. with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. Why? I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. In Novaria? I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what Go. evil counts on. But it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. And where are they going? This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? You can't Jacob, go. you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just Not because injured. you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Exactly. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you've found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Okay, okay. Will do. Cool. Dr. Cole. Got a moment? How do I go up? Of course. You and Jacob? What's your relationship with Jacob? You lovers? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Right? Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? 
Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. Uh, yeah. It also saved your life. Sort of. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? Hip from Cerberus. How'd you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. <laughs> so, what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Oh, Dr. nice! Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Or not that I have an option. Choice. Personal log. With Jacob's help, we have managed to certain the several of our colleagues were, in fact, killed. No, 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 and so many others we didn't even know about. We should have left soon. Pretty sure she and Jacob had something. Where should I go? Shepard, I'm in here. Hey, you okay? Have you been? You gotta go up. Give us a minute. To the rooftops. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I didn't think I, I would the see feeling. you. <laughs> so how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. We look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. Oh, ever think about your father? Yeah, that... His mission was... Weird. Say the least. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. Oh. How long have you known Bren? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. That's what she said. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection. My help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? I'm pretty sure y'all have something going on. Like, I, I can't tell. They, you know, they probably slept together a few times. Who is she to you? We're Did. together. And ah. you run this enclave with her. You settling down, Jacob? That. Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... If these are our final days... I want to spend them protecting these people. You're right Building about a that. life. Whatever's left of it. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place like this? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus. I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. How did That's they when I lost track of you. Yeah. Sat on a bank. And what did all the fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm you important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure. I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. Interesting. That they are showing more of Jacob than Miranda. Outpost now, 48% operational. We reorganized some of the storage rooms around the central core. Okay. What else? <laughs> Sorry. Give me that gel. Oh, there's daughters. I'm not willing to die to save this data. Let me. It's I'll purge fine. it and meet you at the shuttle oh, where bay. Where is? Okay. I don't Let's want go. to die. Go. Told you that we should have gone go. to the sanctuary. No, no, look. No. These people had no plan beyond hiding. They didn't stand a chance. These civilians yeah. had no hope of coming out of this alive. Well, if they didn't have any hope, they would not have brought their entire freaking family over here. For this mission, I'll it's probably up. just... 
Can we do that? Oh, oh shoot, Corey, what is happening? Where are you going, Kaden? Oh, Jesus. What happened to me? Oh no, I can't see. God, I hate that. I can't see them. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna wait for it to stop. <laughs> Did he die? Are we good? That's a shield generator. There you go. I'm gonna throw a bomb. And we can put <clears throat> it's in oh, fuck me. online now. Affirmative. But the guns are still down. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back oh, to the God. front of the facility. More enemies in our path. <clears throat> shit, 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 go back. Where are they? I can't see. He's stuck. He's Understood. stuck there. Oh, I didn't mean to, the arrow, sorry. It was just... How do I get up? Carry me. Please? Maybe here. Shepard, shuttles overhead. Oh, there's get a lot. Get them before they hit the ground. Commander, <laughs> trooper on the gun. I'm trying. Gotta get him off that gun. What? Where? I can't see. Move up. Keep low and find cover. We gotta do it. Oh, jeez. Stop rolling! Oh my god, you're so annoying. No, not you. Fuck you. 
Why are they not coming up? Um, Kaden, can you please? Thank you. Oh, you're alive! Oh no! I gotta leave! I gotta leave! Oh, Shepard, where are you stuck? God. Okay. No. Ugh. Wait. How many of them there are? Holy shit, there's so fucking many. Why are y'all not attacking them? Please help me. I need help. My team is also oh shit. Probably not the smartest idea that I had. Oh, there's someone in the gun. God. God. Why is my team not coming? I gotta move. Like my fucking team is useless. They don't go. Will do. Let's go. Hit them. I need to get up. I gotta be doing this. Okay, let's wait. Shepard, that was a bad idea. We have to get up there and activate those AA guns manually! So, we go here first, because there's a dude. Oh, how do we... What? Shepard? Hi? I can't! Oh, shit! Never mind, then. Go here. Where are the gun? Guns. Here? Okay, okay, okay. Activate one. Oh, this is activated boat already? Or nah. I'm so confused. Power restored. Gun one reset. Circuit incomplete. The other uh, gun's still down! Let's get over there! Fuck, how do I get it? Can I I can't, okay. There any servers in here? Nope. Where did he go? What did they do? Oh fuck. Failure at junction. Repair and reset. How do we do it? Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. Oh. Liara? Liara, I need you to fix the guns. You got can, it. Can Ready, she? Kaden? Just you and me. <clears throat> Bring it on. Get it! Get the med kit! <laughs> Fuck me. There are just so many. Oh, he has a fucking barrier. He's called a phantom. Stop. Stop spinning around. Oh my god, I hate them. It's Any proving difficult. I need more time. Why is Kaden not helping me? I thought I asked you to help me. Oh, I hate these guys. Oh, 
Where did he go? Did you die? Okay, better get closer. Hide. Ooh, wait, you can't hit me? Oh. Kaden, I need you to help me. Oh god, he does not. Done. Oh my god, Liara, what we're doing? I don't get it. There are more. <coughs> huh. Confused. What has happened? Did the game glitch or something? Does I don't really know what's happening to you, Caden. Everybody died, I think. Liara, are you all right? Okay, I don't know. Maybe I should go down. Maybe we should go down. Do, do we have more? The assault trooper glitched, and I can do it. Wow. <laughs> this is some crazy BS over there, huh? Okay, Liara, okay. Let us go. Where is she? No. Okay, okay. Run! Let's get to it. No, that was not what I was trying to Anyway. You should have activated it. It was not that hard. Power restored. Circuit reset. Guns <clears throat> operational. What are we doing now? Shepard, are we leaving? A guns are back online. Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. Well, there we go. Finally. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. But there's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Uh, let's... evacuate? Alright, let's get these shuttles in the air. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Is it gonna work? Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Oh, this is Cerberus? Shuttle one is away. Hope everything works. All right, everyone here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here. Was that supposed to happen? Hi. <clears throat> what the fuck? So many. <laughs> Shepard, shuttles are loaded. We need you at the landing area to make sure they get away. Okay. I'll meet you down there. What's the direction? Give me that first. Some kind of poison tailored to Turians. Oh. Why are we helping people that were making poison for 
Cerberus. Let's go, people! Clear the shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up. Then get out to the landing pad. Will do. Oh, shit! You were too close, my dude. Bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. Will do. Here we That's go. The main door? Okay, let's get these people out of here. <gasps> Down! Shepard! Oh my god! What? This is not. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's not what I was planning, but okay. I wanted to get here. What? You see? <clears throat> God. Oh my god. There's so many. Stop. Stop existing. Stop. Okay, let me take this down first. There you go. Y'all don't have shoes anymore. Two shuttles remaining. Very good. No Surface shoots. shuttles taking positions on both sides. Roger, on it. No. Why are we even helping Jacob? Why are we doing this for Jacob? Use the power. Take out that shield generator. Let me take the shield generator. Okay. Jacob, come in. What's your status? Shepard, the facility's overrun. Cerberus troops are all over the place. One what? more shuttle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. We got this. Just need to hold them a little longer. Oh, right there's away. more there. I did not see. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Why do they can float like this and I can't? Understood. Oh, I didn't mean to. I can't see. Three away. Evacuation complete. Are they all dead? That was the last of the civilians. Shepard, heads up! The place is oh. over. We, got we gotta go! Big Head it to you with the shuttle! Jacob, hang tight. Understood. <laughs> oh, that's not great. <laughs> Jacob, landing area clear. 
cleared. This place is crawling. Bring the shuttle to you. Roger that. Don't get why he was regenerating his health, so that was weird. Tango, this... Tango, don't the squads are underground. Mm, whoa. Take down Silver! Why there's so many? Where did they come from? Oh my goodness, hello. Oh, Shepard! Shepard! Commander! Oh boy, this girl. Are you gonna die, Jacob? Ooh, nice. That's smart. Okay, let's go. He's good. Never gave Jacob enough credit, huh? He's actually really good. Out by the skin of our teeth again, hey, Shepard? <laughs> it worked. Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One that you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. Yes. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. That's nice. You too, Jacob. I need you. Not on my team. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. Why? You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. Let him do it's it. It's where I'm at right now. I, I hope you can see that. Yeah, yeah. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. Eat swine. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. He's a badass. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. All right. Be safe out there. You better... Pay me a very expensive drink, like very, very, very expensive. Anyway, that's the last mission for the day. Hack it here. Oh yeah. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. Hopefully she knows the sooner we can get something. the crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Damn, alright. The ends of a mission are... Uh, and the Cerberus missions are worth it. Let us see... Oh, lots of credits. Let us see what's going on here. We're still at Miniman, though. Got a lot of ex-Cerberus. Brilliant. shows where they are all right so before finishing up i am gonna talk to the crew just a tiny little bit i'm not really sure if kaden has any new dialogue probably not because we have not done like it we, we're Cerberus ending popular for a while they were fighting the collectors while the council sat and watched Dude, we're ending the episode now, because like it's not you, you may want to check in on armor. shuttle pilot cortez down in the armory why what's happening to game night Thanks for taking the time to speak with the civilian. I'd love to see how Commander Shepard kills time between missions. Why don't you give me a call if you'd like to grab drinks in your cabin? Oh. Should we? Just gonna see... Hayden first? Then we can... Sounds interesting. I don't think he... Very easy. Not in here. Sometimes he leaves. Oh, he's here. What are you doing there? Hey. There you are. Yes. It's me. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> <laughs> if you have to ask, I'm clearly out of practice. Was that flirting? Oh, and we've got time. You'll have to let me practice. Aww. You know... I've just been sitting here thinking. About what? Uh oh. Okay, hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team, they seem like... like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if they're more like them, trapped inside Cerberus, struggling to get out? Uh, and there are. 
Tell me what Probably. you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many. The choice to leave someone behind. Yeah. Until you're in that moment. I... So, yeah, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know either. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help. No matter what. That's the best we can do. That's the only thing we can do. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough. But it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. Very and They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once? Ever? I doubt it. Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right, exactly. But so you never saw this coming from them. From him. I actually Sorry. saw. I'm not sure what I want you to say here. You still I guess I'm just her. looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. It's complicated. Back then, he wanted the best for humanity, and he had resources to spare. But then it became humanity first, and at any cost. And that... That's a very different thing. He wanted but a this, cult. No. I never saw this coming from him. Yeah. He just wants revenge and mm. power. Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. <laughs> he keeps losing his shirt to James. Oh my god. <laughs> Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. Sira. You bet. Hmm. These are nice moments. Hey, if you get a moment, we should head out to the Citadel for a snack. We should. I know a place that uh, still has steak. Do you have anything else? I should get back to this report. I'll catch you later, Shepard. Okay, you're making a report. All right, I'll leave you. That's sad. Let's go to Shepard's cabin and call Samantha Trainer and play some chess with her and finish this episode. Because it's getting long. Let's invite her. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? A few minutes free, not a few hours, please. Where are you going to do The cabin is hours? gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Oh, oh, an actual shower. The faucets in the women's bathroom are crap, by the way. Okay. What do you want? <laughs> well, Commander, ready to play? Sure. Let's do play. it. Play. I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? We should do it. I thought it was G-U-Y, not gooey. All this time. This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Maybe she does not know how to play chess, because I sure don't. Ha! She won't. Oh, come on! <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my <laughs> regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line like the Krogan can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? Uh... One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep her in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Yeah, she's cool. Thanks. So, rematch? <laughs> Maybe. Hell yes. Oh, that's good. That's cool. That's really cool. So yeah, we are gonna be finishing up right here. I am tired. I'm sleepy. My hair is like doing whatever it wants right now. Leave it like that. Oh my god, it's horrible. But we're gonna leave it like that. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. This episode was kind of like a filler-ish because we didn't really do anything 
that important except for hanging out with our best buddy Garris and learning more about James Vega. We also talked to Caden again. We saw Jacob. I think that this is a lot of important stuff. But yeah, next episode, let me just take a look at the journal and see what we up to. I'm guessing we might do this N7 Cerberus fighter base in Novaria and also apps I don't know Bola's ambassador we gotta go back to the embassies and Citadel and everything but yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me today oh my god I'm tired I'm sorry thanks for hanging out with me today and I hope to see you in the next one yeah I'm tired and I don't know what to say anymore bye